we're Joel and Leah. And welcome back to Vlogmas. It's another video for you. Today we're going to be responding to, reacting to, not responding to, I gave my kids a terrible present. We love the Jimmy Kimmel show. We've seen, well I've seen some of these videos before yeah. and the I ate my kids Halloween candy. Amazing. Hysterical. What a genius idea. So um, good. Yeah, so we just thought we'd react to it. Um, this is the Christmas present. So for those of you that don't know, is where Fred <laughs> parents wrap up a terrible gift for their children like this. You know, just anything rubbish, like an old banana, wrap yeah. it up and give it to their kids and film the kids and see what their reaction is. See if they're grateful, ungrateful, see what they do. I love testing children. I just think yeah. like, there's so much is revealed, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On his face. I don't like it. Oh. What is it? An old banana. An old banana? <laughs> Isn't that exciting? The tops no. of it as well. Oh, what she's are you doing? squeezing it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> a battery and an onion. Oh. What's wrong? I don't want an onion. I don't want an onion. Did you smell your onion? I definitely do this. The dog ate the hot dog. I got a girl activity book of stickers. I am not a girl. I am not a girl. Well, tell him to suck my balls! 
<laughs> he looks so proud of himself as well. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Aww. I would hope if I ever had a kid that they would just be really grateful. Like, that like there's kid. one where, I don't think it's in that one, where he gets something like a vegetable and he goes, Thanks! And then puts it on the side and then opens another one. And I'm like, oh, I wish my kid would react like that's that. That's so funny. Or like the Halloween candy where the kids um, sometimes just go, Oh, that's okay. I didn't oh, need yeah. it anyway. Yeah, that's like, really sweet. But you know, some of them are real drama queens and kings. Yeah. Like, th throwing an actual tantrum. Oh and like, telling their parents that they're, they're the worst parents yeah, in the world. Yeah, you hate them. I hate you! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I hope I wasn't like that as a kid. No. Was I like that as a kid? <laughs> was I? I hope not. I, I was. I, what, just throwing a tantrum? No, there was a video, because my parents used to like videotape everything. And yeah. there's one we watched back when I'm probably like three or something. Yeah. And I open, I'm like ripping open the presents and putting it on the side, like not even looking at what they are. Oh. And then one of them is Maltesers. And I go, I don't like these. And then put them on the side. Oh, <laughs> and then really? like, and it, the camera just pans to my granddad and he just goes, Oh, <laughs> three years old and knows he yeah. doesn't like Maltesers. And I don't know what I'm on about because I love Maltesers, so I, I don't know what three-year-old Joel is on about. So No idea. But do you know what? Buying Christmas presents is so stressful anyway for, yeah. par for parents and for, for, for people that aren't parents. Like, yeah. Just buying for everyone can be really, really stressful. Yeah. I've... Um, I've been watching this like money program that's on in the UK right now. It's like a live show for an hour where they've got like a money expert on there. And he was saying that he's been sort of rallying against buying Christmas presents that are unnecessary okay. and like inspiring people to be like, if you've got a friend or a friend of a friend or cousins or, yeah. you know, people that aren't immediate family that you feel like you've got to buy presents for, yeah. to like be honest with them and be like, I'm not buying you a Christmas present this year because it's like people spend so much money, get so stressed out. Yeah, like just to be bold enough to have a conversation with someone and say, hey, I know every single year up until now we've bought each other Christmas presents, Yeah. but I want to let you know, yeah. or I, I'm wondering if it would work for you if we both didn't buy each other Christmas presents yeah. this year, just because... I feel like we're just doing it for the sake of doing it. Those people that are like the bottom of the list, mm. you get them something because they've got you something. Yeah. And often it isn't anything thought out. It's something of equal like, value. Yeah, that and that isn't very. It's like a box of chocolates or some alcohol or some like a scarf or a like something yeah. generic. It's not something personal. No, never. You know when you're visiting people at Christmas and you've got so many, mm. you see so many people. I think it was me and mum, we had like emergency presents in the back of the car that don't have anyone's name on oh, it, wow. yeah. but are like emergency in a bag yeah. that we, if someone gives us a present, we're like, gosh, left yours in the car and uh, run to the car, get the emergency yeah. present and give them it. And it's generic gift. That's amazing. You Honestly, just gave the game away now. I know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's I know. so clever. I know, but this is but, what we're talking about. Yeah. It's all like unnecessary it's stuff. It's unnecessary spending. And that's the thing, if you can afford it, then obviously it's, it's a non-issue, but especially because right now, like we've been, both of us are trying to like, like on Skillshare, for example, who are sponsoring this video. You guys know we're working with them over the last few months. Um, we share with you what we've been learning. And um, this month we've been learning about money, money and management. money management, like how to just like be efficient and effective and sort of stable with your money. Yeah. And so that's just reinforced to me, like doing those Skillshare classes, watching that money program and then stuff like this. I'm like, actually, yeah. Like, yeah. You can just like wake up with, the, with your thinking and like make some changes that can actually save you and them yeah. loads of money. Yeah. Because most people respond to it quite well, I think. And I've yeah. heard from that TV program, they're like, most people that said it to their friends, their friends were like, oh my gosh, thanks so much. Like, I feel exactly the same way. I just didn't know how to tell you. Like, I don't yeah. want to spend this money. Mm -hmm. And everyone's been really good about it. So. That's amazing. We will share in our description the link to the money management classes that we've been mm -hmm. doing. Yeah. And if you want to sign up to Skillshare, the first 500 people first 500 of our viewers mm -hmm. get the first month for free and then after that you can pay to have like membership which works out at less than ten dollars per month yeah if you take the annual subscription it's um full of classes for those of you that don't know classes and everything technology writing well-being 
like money management yeah everything you can possibly think of so much stuff and it's been really nice that we've been able to work on like editing skills but then also like networking skills last month to now money management We're really enjoying our progress with skillshare mm. so we hope that we can share that with some of you guys yeah. so go and check out the link down below be in one of those first 500 because you'll get a little freebie i know we've said in other videos like about christmas presents and um a, a luxury gift guide yeah but this is all like it's, it's, it's ideas if you if you could afford to do something like that then obviously do it yeah but if money is causing you stress debt anxiety seasonal christmas yeah. anxiety it's, it's a real thing guys and i think it's important for us to say because we're doing vlogmas a video every day until christmas eve and we're doing things yeah. like ice skating going to harrods all these things yeah it's important to just be clear like if you're one of those people watching being like well, oh, I'm get, oh, getting overwhelmed with like Christmas the amount of Christmassy stuff. stuff and like money. Yeah. Like these are just ideas and things like that. They're not yeah. like, and it's entertainment. So if you can't, you find this, this period of you know the year stressful. Then, then know that you're not alone in that. Yeah. And that a lot of people are in the same boat where like work, mm. personal life, family life, yeah. buying presents, all of that. Just it can really it can wear you down. Yeah. So um, just know that like entertainment for entertainment's sake yes right here on our channel you still got your real people right here <laughs> yeah, right here <laughs> right and it's not talking about ex like immediate family like of course i will still buy presents for my family and my very close friends yeah. i remember y y like for the last few years me and you had an agreement where we like we just didn't buy each other birthday presents or christmas yeah, presents it's just fine we just have we literally see each other every day mm. so it's like the amount of like dinners lunches amazing experiences that we get to mm. do together yeah like our life is christmas yeah no exactly <laughs> i mean I, that sounds so spoiled so because know? it's like we run a business together yeah it's sort of like our money is we, we obviously split it and we get our own money but the money comes from the same place so it's like, it's like if, your money's my money yeah exactly so it's <laughs> like if i'm spending money on you i'm just spending your money on you and you're just spending my money on me and it's like it's like it all came from here anyway yeah so it's like <laughs> so it's like hey joe i bought you this for 20 quid you're from that money that we earned so yeah like, i'll just do the same it, it's exactly yeah. what we've just spoken yeah. about in this video. It's the pointless exchange of things where you yeah. don't really need to. So if you've got friends that you know you can be like, hey, should we just not give each other gifts? We'll just go out for lunch. Like, I think that's a great way yeah. to that's save it. some money. Save some money, guys. Yeah. We hope you've enjoyed this video. We hope it's been informative and still entertaining. Yeah. And uh, like we said, we're really, really grateful to be working with Skillshare on this. Um, check out the links in our description. Mm -hmm. We usually post videos thrice weekly, but we're doing Vlogmas this year. Yeah, so this is a video every day until Christmas Eve, and then we'll be back to thrice weekly. weekly. Um, but yeah, come back tomorrow. There'll be a brand spanking new video. Got it right this time. Brand spanking brand new Brand spanking new video. Um, like and subscribe, and yeah. maybe share this video with someone who might find it useful. Yeah. And we'll see you next time, see guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.